All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today we are back. We are here with some Clash Royale. As you can see, the draft uh, double elixir challenge is going on right now, uh, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a couple of these replays. As you can see, I've played quite a few matches, but um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on, show you guys some of these. I've never recorded, uh, or I've never recorded well. A Clash Royale video so this is gonna be a first it's gonna take a lot of editing I have to record this separately my gameplay separately and make the background and whatnot but let's go ahead and jump into the first match um, as you can see this will go ahead and show uh, what I chose for everything it may be a little bit laggy um, I, again I don't know if I'll continue doing this because it's not great and it's a lot of work but you know it will still get the point across so I figured hey why not I'll go ahead and show it to you guys, so let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, I've taken the Rage Spell, Fireball, and the Inferno Tower, which is really weird, huh? Uh, I also took the Dark Goblin at the end. I've given him three Musketeers and Musketeer. Um, you would think that he would have a huge advantage, though. Um, Dark Goblin, starting off in the back, he's going to go ahead and jump, th drop three Musketeers. Again, it is kind of laggy, guys. My deepest apologies. I'll try and fix it if I do make another Clash Royale video. Um, Alright, so I fireball zap the two musketeers out. Get a little bit of chip damage done over on that right tower. Um, now right here, he has Royal Giant. I have Inferno Tower. I drop the counter, but with a musketeer and Royal Giant hitting it, that thing does certainly die quickly. I drop off a mini P.E.K.K.A. and a Dark Gall, but throw down a tornado to hold everything back. Go ahead and zap everything to ruin the charge. And he's only going to get one, two, three musketeers and a log shot. So not too bad at all. He wastes some elixir right here, just waiting to see what to do. Again, he drops his three musketeers. I have fireball. Just going to go ahead and drop them down real quick and easy. Mini P.E.K.K.A. for the left side. And the tower will finish off that right side just fine. Dark Goblin to help out the tower against that baby dragon. And then... Do we go Expo? I do. I go Expo. He drops a Royal Giant and a Prince on the left side, uh, which is really risky. His Musketeer right on that Expo, you know. The Inferno Tower finishes the Royal Giant. The Expo will take out the Prince, but that Musketeer is almost full health. About to land on our tower. I do Tornado her back after letting the tower get a shot off on her. Now she's at low health, and we'll simply get one shot. Mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back, looking to start another push. Dark Goblin to help. An expo here um, with these troops ahead, hopefully to tank. Dark Goblin did something weird there, which enabled the uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. to get ahead, which was extremely nice. Expo was focusing down that tombstone. I go ahead and drop an Inferno Tower. The Tesla pops up shooting the uh, Inferno Tower, which wasn't great. Fireball the... Um, go ahead and Fireball Zap the Three Musketeers. The expo gets a little bit of chip damage. Again, he still is ahead in damage um, single tower-wise. But again, we drop the Expo, we have our uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. for the Royal Giant, which actually is an amazing counter, guys. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. really doesn't get as used as much as it used to, but it is an amazing card. I go ahead and fireball that Musketeer down, a Raged Expo on his tower. If you guys don't know, that's a lot of damage. A Goblin, Zap, just to try and get as much damage as possible, I want to be able to go ahead and just fireball him out. And I can see right here that I will. Again, dropping a Mini P.E.K.K.A. just to negate some damage. And he goes for three Musketeers in uh, the base. It does split them again. He knows I have Fireball. I just go ahead and fire. Ooh, I actually Tornado the right side because I was saving that Fireball for his tower. But he was building up a huge push. Dark Goblin, Dark Goblin Inferno Tower to take that out. And I chuck a simple little Fireball over there. Take out his tower. And uh, that was game uh, right there. His deck... It was really interesting. An Expo deck beating a Royal Giant deck. Um, I felt pretty pretty proud after that game. Um, it was pretty pretty intense. Uh, this right here is also another interesting one. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, again, I will show you the choosing or the card choosing process, which I'm gonna leave in the video, just because I want you guys to see the options. You know, uh, instant damage. So it's it's pretty good spell to have. Um, Lumberjack is also an amazing card, and Dark Goblin I kept because I knew I would be able to just go ahead and poison his archers out. Um, so, 
I did get the Battle Ram here too, which the Battle Ram Lumberjack is a nasty, nasty combo, especially if you have like a spell to throw down over the back, such as arrows or poison. Um, so I was pretty confident in this game from the very beginning. Dark Goblin again. It's an amazing card, guys. I wish I had him up to a good, uh, a good level for the ladder. Unfortunately, I do not. But um, Tombstones just playing time. The Ice Wizard getting focused down by the tower. I didn't drop anything to help him out. He wastes a lot of elixir right here. I start a lava hound down in the bottom right. Um, I have another Dark Goblin over to the left to help defend that Mega Minion. Um, and right here, value poison on that tower, Archers and Ice Wizard. He does go ahead and take out the Battle Ram before it gets anywhere, but his Ice or his um, Wizards are both super low health. They each get one more shot, and then I arrow them down. That would be tower, except he does go ahead and drop off his Mega Minion. Not sure why. I guess he's just trying to keep that tower alive when he knows I have poison. Again, I'm not really sure. Um, Dark Goblin and Tower here will take out the Mega Minion. I drop a cannon just to support so we can get that Lava Hound to his side of the map with as much elixir as possible. Unfortunately, the Dark Goblin does run out ahead. I drop Lumberjack uh, Battle Ram combo in the left lane. He fireballs those, which actually will rage my Barbarians when they pop out. And in case you guys didn't know, Barbarians do a lot of damage. I know nobody uses the Barbarian card above like 500 trophies. But barbarians are strong, dude, and uh, they're really they're really good, especially in the battle ram, uh, because they can get across the map quickly. He's wasting a lot of elixir right here. At this point, I assumed he had just given up, um, and it looks like he very well may have. Yeah, I just battle ram lumberjack poison, and that's gonna go ahead and be a victory. Uh, so he gave up. He knew he couldn't stand a chance. Um, kicked his butt in that one it's pretty pretty uh, dope and then a four I think we'll go ahead and do one more match um, this one right here was pretty cool however gonna go ahead and skip that one and um, I took it that's my first defeat right there uh, this one is a crazy crazy match let's go ahead and jump into it to answer this text message uh, again, I take arrows. I always take arrows in draft challenges. Um, really laggy, man. And here's where I had to decide. If I wanted the pump or the mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, Alright, sorry about this guys. Um, Alright, I dropped a pump. He has a rocket. He was so focused on that tornado. He didn't go ahead and rocket my pump. Big, big mistake. Um, so here, I was just splitting my, uh, my cards out. He rockets my tower and misses everything. I have a huge push on his side, Elite Barb's in his, on his tower, um, unfortunately that Elite Barb didn't get one more shot, Bomber did go down, but I drop another pump, and, um, I now have two pumps, you know, giving me all the elixir, uh, I split my archers, and then I drop Elite Barb's in his base, and Spear Goblins to help defend that, he does go ahead and Tornado, um, Oh, look, Dad giving me a, <laughs> a message about the Minecraft server. Um, Spear Gobs and that one archer will be able to take out that tower. Another pump goes down, um, and he still is not rocketing them. I, I'm not sure why. Oh, so much lag, guys. I'm really sorry. All right, he finally rockets my already damaged pump. Really, again, not sure. This push right here, Bomber, Archers, Spear Gobs, and Elite Barbs with like a Rage or an arrows is an amazing push. Uh, he does counter this really well. I was honestly really proud of him right there. However, like two elite barbs, a bomber and an archer melted through that mini P.E.K.K.A. 
Again, the bomber melts through the ice wizard. He's still defending with everything he has. He was doing a really, really good job. I drop a pump down the bottom left. He has rocket. Will he use it? No. He's trying to cycle rocket my tower out. Guys, go ahead and arrow down this goblin barrel. Elite Barb's on his tower because I know he just used his rocket, which means A, he doesn't have a counter, and B, he uh, is running low on elixir. Even though this is double elixir, you don't have unlimited. Go ahead and lightning out his ice wizard right or his uh, electro wizard right there. Finish his tower off, and then do I drop another pump, guys? Spear Goblin Archers will go ahead and defend that just fine. Um, Again, another rocket on my tower. I know he's so weak. He used his tornado right there. Why? Elite Barb's in the base. No tornado. He Goblin barrels my uh, barbs, and I drop a bomber, which counters it perfectly. And there we go. Destroyed. Guys, this was crazy. Uh, again, this is three of the ten matches that I played. Uh, I finished with seven wins, three losses. The max you can get is nine wins. Um, so I still got a good amount of gold. Now let's go ahead and open the chest, right? Alright, we got 3,800 gold, 6 elite barbarians, 12 teslas, a lightning spell, um, 3, uh, wait. What? Come again? Legendary card, Night Witch, that I've never had, that just came out, that leaves me with only one legendary that I don't have? I will freaking take it, guys. Uh, insane, right? Anyway, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Again, it was laggy. I'm sorry. The audio wasn't great. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I don't have an Elg Elgato capture card for doing this. It probably won't happen very often, but I just felt like I really had to show this. I was really happy with the win. So, guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, share my channel, or this video with one friend or family member. It really does mean a lot. And guys, if you did enjoy, I will definitely catch you in the next one.